We have developed a method for estimating the pose of flexible medical robots such as catheters, active cannula, and steerable needles from partial observations of the robot's backbone curve. To evaluate the probability of a partial observation of the device's backbone curve, we use a kinematic model of the robot that allows us to transform each potential device state into a corresponding backbone curve. A state's backbone curve allows us to evaluate its measurement probability by intersecting the backbone curve with the ultrasound image plane. For our specific application, robotic needle steering, the needle state is defined by the position and orientation of the needle's tip. Because the shaft of a steerable needle is assumed to follow its tip as it's inserted, each tip state can be transformed into a needle shaft by replaying the command inputs backward in time through the kinematic model. This allows us to evaluate the measurement probability of a potential needle state as a truncated Gaussian centered at the image coordinates of the intersection between the state's kinematic needle shaft and ultrasound image plane. We note that for a single measurement, there are a multitude of states that have equal measurement probabilities. But by combining measurements in time, we are able to refine our estimate of the needle tip state. However, where the needle is along its shaft is an uncertainty that may not be resolved in time. To fix this, we vibrate the needle and use the generated ultrasound Doppler response as an indication of whether the ultrasound image plane intersected the needle shaft or not. The Doppler response is incorporated into our measurement model through two distributions trained offline. The probability of a Doppler response given the ultrasound image plane intersects the needle and the probability of a Doppler response given the image plane does not intersect the needle. Its use is best illustrated by returning to the motivating example. Consider two potential tip positions along a needle's axis, one ahead of the ultrasound image plane and one behind the ultrasound image plane. Assume the measured Doppler response is large, indicating the transducer is over the needle. The tip position ahead of the image plane will have a Doppler measurement probability given by the blue distribution, while the tip position behind the image plane will have a Doppler measurement probability given by the red distribution. The tip position behind the image plane will be penalized relative to the tip position ahead of the image plane, as expected. When the Doppler response is high, we are confident the transducer is behind the needle tip. To improve the accuracy of our estimation method, we use a marginalized particle filter that estimates the tip position only with a particle filter and estimates the conditional orientation distribution with a comma filter. This structure is motivated by noting that for a given position, a small range of orientations maximize the measurement probability. Therefore, it is wasteful to have particles with mismatched orientation and position. Given a tip position and set of previous measurements, we would like to find the orientation that best aligns the position's kinematic shaft with the measurements. To do this, we consider a tip state with a fixed position but varying orientation. We note that the needle steering kinematics have the property that a kinematic shaft of two different orientations are related by rotating one shaft into the other by the change in orientation between the two states. This yields an efficient algorithm for finding the optimal orientation for a given position. First, the kinematic shaft is constructed for an arbitrary orientation R1. Then a Procrustes alignment is used to find the correction between R1 and the orientation that best aligns R1's backbone curve with the set of past measurements. This correction is independent of choice of R1. This process generates an orientation measurement that can be noisy, as is seen in this simulated needle insertion. The true orientation is shown on the bottom left, and the measured orientation is on the bottom right. Notice that the measurement's tangent axis is accurate, but the role about the tangent axis is unstable. By encoding this information in the measurement noise covariance of the conditional Kalman filter, a reliable orientation estimate can still be achieved. To test our method, we implemented it in C++ and BTK. 2D Doppler ultrasound is displayed in the upper left pane. Three metrics are displayed in the lower left pane. Doppler response in orange, probability that the image plane intersects the needle given the Doppler response in green, and probability that the image plane intersects the shaft given the particle filter estimate in blue. In the upper right pane, blue spheres visualize the particles.
The gray sphere visualizes the gold standard tip position given by the electromagnetic tracker, while the red sphere visualizes the estimated tip position given by the particle filter. The gold circle in the image plane indicates the current image measurement, and the pink curve visualizes past measurements. A full insertion is now shown. The image plane is swept over the tip of the needle as it is inserted, and the tip position is continually estimated from the information provided in each image. In our testing, we found the accuracy of our method to be higher than 2 millimeters.